Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download vector data from OpenStreetMaps using an external plugin called QuickOSM using QGIS. Now using this QuickOSM plugin, you can actually download a wide array of vector data from OpenStreetMaps without any hassle. So, so first of all, what you need to do is you actually have to install this plugin in case if you haven't. So you can actually go to plugins first and go to manage and install. And under all, you can search for quick OSM and you see that this plugin appears over here. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually download this plugin using this install plugin option. Yeah, and just in a matter of few seconds, you can see that the plugin already got installed. All right, now after that, you can actually go to vector and quick OSM. And from here, you can select quick OSM. And in here under this query on all keys, you can actually expand this and see what kind of things, what kind of information we can actually download from uh, OpenStreetMaps. Now, as you can see, we actually can download a very wide range of data from these OpenStreetMaps. Now, just to demonstrate to you guys, I'm first going to download maybe some building footprint data. And under values, you can again expand and see what kind of buildings that you actually can download. Now, because OpenStreetMap is actually comprised of a very rich database of different geospatial information, you can see that you actually have the possibility to download data in a very detailed manner, as you can see. So to get started, I'm actually going to maybe select uh, houses. And over here, you can directly type in the name of the city, or maybe if you're trying to search the information of a particular village or a town, you can actually enter the name directly. So over here, I'm just going to enter a name of a city. Let's go with Paris. And once you have done that, just come down over here and expand this advanced option. And over here, you can select actually what sort of geometrical types you can download now. Since I'm trying to download building footprints in the form of polygons, I'm going to actually untick the first three and I'm going to leave multi polygons like this. And once you have done that, you can actually just simply run the query. And after a while, you can see that it basically downloaded the building footprints of uh, houses for us in Paris like this. Yeah, let's go ahead and maybe try out a different type of building. Maybe I can say apartments. And similarly, I'm going to untick points, lines and multi-line strings. And after that, I'm going to run the query. Yeah, now you can see that very clearly we even have the footprints of apartments in Paris like this. Now, if you have a look at the attributes table you can see over here actually all of these buildings are of the type apartments now let's say if we need something like uh, subway stations what we can do is we can again go ahead and select maybe railway and from here you can select subway i'm going to go with the same city and in advance i'm not really sure whether this subway refers to the subway lines or whether the subway stations itself so I'm actually not going to get rid of any of these options. So I'm just going to leave everything like this. And after that, we'll actually run the query and see what sort of information it downloads for us. In case if something is not relevant, we can just simply get rid of the information that we do not want. All right, now you can see that it actually downloaded three things. The first one seems to be the station. And we also have a line feature over here, which, which most probably is the subway lines. And we also have some polygon element. I'm actually going, going to get rid of this polygon element. Yeah. And now if I open the attributes table of this point feature, you can see that it's very convenient. We even have the name of the subway station over here. So these are basically the subway stations in Paris, according to the OpenStreetMap database. And let's have a look at the subway lines. Yeah. You can see very clearly over here, it even displays the corresponding subway line, which is actually quite convenient. Now, in case if you would like to check whether this information is actually properly georeferenced or not, it would be convenient to just uh, put a base map and see how accurate this information are. So rather than putting a different base map, why don't we put a real open straight map as the base map? So we can actually again go back to plugins and go to manage and install plugins. And from here, we can simply search for quick map services, the second option. And I'm going to install that plugin as well. And after you have done that, you can simply go to web and 
go to quick map services go to OSM and simply add the standard open straight map and now very clearly you are able to see that the data are properly georeferenced and it gets placed in the correct location in our base map now in case if you would like to change the view because right now this is in WGS 1984 coordinate reference system I'm going to select here and I'm going to change this to be web mercator auxiliary sphere and when I hit apply you can see that you kind of get sort of a flattened out view which is much convenient now in case if I go ahead and change maybe the color of the subway line like this and if I increase the stroke width like this yeah now I think it's quite clear the distribution of the rail the subway network in Paris and similarly I can make the subway stations also pop up a bit like this by changing the color and also maybe changing the size of the marker just like this maybe push this up quite convenient isn't it now in case if you would like to do a quick check on the information of the attributes what you can do is you can simply select this identify features tool and after that you can click on a particular line and on your right side you will see that the information gets opened like this it's actually the metro line 5 and similarly if you would like to know information about a particular station what you can do is you can actually select on a station and select the point feature and from here you can even get the name of the station just like this so quite convenient isn't it so I guess that's about it for this tutorial if you did like the tutorial don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more interesting tutorials like this don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well I'll see you guys in the next one